Okay, worksheet 5.5a, Math 1, Mr. Trutna from Clovis High School. So on this particular worksheet, there's going to be 10 problems that we're going to do. And in each problem, we're going to be finding the solution to each exponential equation. Okay, so the whole concept is, the strategy is, in order to find the solution to each exponential equation, is that you need to take a look at the base, which is a two here and a four here, and you need to make sure that the bases are going to be the same number. Once they are the same number, then we can cancel them out. So what you do is, is you go to the, the side that has the larger base, which is four, and you rewrite that number as a power or an exponent of whatever the base is here. So that base is a 2 on the left, so you say to yourself, okay, I want to make this 4 have a base of 2, so 2 to the what power is equal to 4? So 4 is equal to 2 times 2, so 4 is 2 to the second power. Okay, now, once you have the bases are the same amount on both sides of the equation, the bases cancel themselves out, and then you write what is left, which would be an x plus 1, an equal sign, and a 2, and you solve that equation out, so that would be the solution to your exponential equation. Subtracting 1 from each side, the solution to number 1 would be x is equal to 1. Okay, in number 2, we have 5x to the second power is equal to 125. So, it, once again, the strategy is you need to make these problems so they have the same exact base. So, you go to the larger amount side, which is 125, and you want to make it a, a base of 5, okay? So, you say, all right, 5 to the what power is 125? Well, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is equal to 125. So 125 is 5 to the third power. Over here on the left side of the equation, I have 5 to the power of x minus 2. And once the bases are the same on the equation, the bases cancel out. You write down what's left, x minus 2 equals 3, and you use basic algebra to solve. So number 2, the solution would be x is equal to 5. Okay, number 3 here, we have 8 to the 2x power is equal to 4,096. So this is where a calculator is going to come in handy. So we go to the side that is larger, which is obviously 4,096, and we say to ourselves, okay, well, we know 8 times 8 is 64. 64 times 8 is 512. 512 times 8 is 4,096. So you could see what I did was I took 8 and I raised it to the fourth power and that gave me 4,096. Okay, so you change 4,096 into 8 to the fourth power. The left side of the equation is 8 to the 2x power. The 8s would cancel each other out. You are left with the equation 2x is equal to 4. You divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2. Number 4, 13. We're going to leave 13 and the power of x minus 3 to itself. And we're going to change 169, the larger number, to a power of 13. 13 to the second power is 169. The thirteens would cancel each other out, and your equation that you're going to use to get your solution is x minus 3 is equal to 2. Adding 3 to both sides, my solution to number 4 is x is equal to 5. Okay, number 5, I have 4 to the 2x minus 4 power is equal to 256. So I go to the larger side, and I'm going to try to see if 256 is actually a power of 4. Okay, and once again, this is where a calculator can come in handy, because you could simply just start multiplying by 4. So you could go 4 times 4 is 16, times 4, that would be 3 times is 64, times 4 is 256. 
So I multiplied 4 by itself 4 times. So 4 to the 4th power makes 256. Once the bases are the same, you cancel out the bases. You write your equation of what's left, 2x minus 4 is equal to 4, and you solve this problem. We would add 4 to both sides, and then I'm going to get the equation, I'm going to write it over here, of 2x is equal to 8, and then dividing both sides by 2, x is going to be equal to 4. Alright, number 6, 7 to the power of 9x, that's my smaller base side, so I'm going to leave that as is. Then I'm going to take my larger base side, 343, and I'm going to raise it, I'm going to make it a power of 7. So 7 to the what power is 343, that would be to the third power. 7 times 7 times 7 is 343. The bases are the same, they cancel each other out, and then you write your equation of what's left and you solve. Dividing by 9, I would get x is equal to 3 ninths. So if you get a fraction for an answer, that is perfectly okay. You want to reduce that though to 1 third. So my answer to number 6 is x is equal to 1 third. That's my solution. Number 7, 2 is the smaller base side. So I'm going to keep the 2 to the power of 2x plus 6. And then I'm going to change 16 into a power of 2. So 2 times itself, how many times is equal to 16? Okay, so we know that 2 times 2 is 4. If we times that by 2 again, that's 8. If we times that by 2 again, we get 16. So 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. The bases are the same amount, so they will cancel each other out. And then your equation is to solve for your solution, 2x plus 6 is equal to 4. You subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. 2x would be equal to negative 2. You divide both sides by 2. The solution is x is equal to negative 1. Moving on to number 8. Number 8 is going to be a little bit more challenging because it's dealing with a 19. All right, which is not a common base that we work with. All right, but we do know that the side that has the base of 19 is the smaller side. So we're going to leave that 19 to the power of x plus 4 alone. And then we're going to see if 361 is actually a power of 19. Okay, and you can see I already did it right here. 19 to the second power is equal to 361. So I'm going to change 361 into 19 to the second power. Once the bases are the same, they're going to cancel out, and your equation that you're going to use to solve to get your solution will be x plus 4 is equal to 2. Subtracting 4 from both sides of the equation, my solution is x is equal to negative 2. Okay, number 9. Um, I have 10 to the power of x plus 100. That is my smaller base side. So I'm going to leave that alone and leave it as 10 to the power of x plus 100. And then I'm going to see, okay, is 10,000 an actual power of 10? Okay, doing a little bit of math, you could do it on your calculator or not. If you went 10 times 10, that's 100. If you went 100 times 10, that's 1,000. If you went 1,000 times 10, that would be 10,000. So 10 to the fourth power is equal to 10,000. The bases are the same, therefore they cancel each other out. And I get x plus 100 is equal to 4. And I get my solution by subtracting each side by 100. So x is going to be equal to negative 96. All right, last problem, I have 6 to the 4x power is equal to 1,096. So I keep the side that has the smaller base, and then I'm going to take the larger side and see if it's a power of 6. You can see right here, I've worked it out. 6 to the 4th power is 1,296. So that 1,296 I can change to 6 to the 4th power. 
the bases are the same, they cancel each other out, my equation is 4x equals 4, and I solve this to get my solution by dividing by 4, x is going to be equal to 1.